Hi, welcome again. And now we are going to set up the activation page. So in uh, the previous video, we have set up the, the service and the slices. So we already had the case for the activation page. We have here the function if it's set up correctly and here also. So now we are going to handle the activation page. And what we want here, it's very simple. So we want to redirect the user when he clicks on here. It's going to be redirected to the activation page. And we are going to handle the activation function. So let's start this. So for this, it's going to be a little different because besides the normal boilerplate stuff that I'm going to very quickly copy from here. Use this part, use. I also want to make sure that I am the account activate. Five one is this. Okay, I'm here. There is no errors. It's good. Uh, account activate. I'm going to set up it a bit later. Page, page. So, what we end here? Have to use this purchase, the login not the activate. The toast can be useful. <clears throat> Want to import our spinner and more. Okay. Yes. Want to import or use navigate, but also is going to be important. It's going to be the use params. So, why we need the use params? First, we have to go here in an app. And actually, I like to you. Actually, not. I just postponed this because it's more useful to explain now. This is not going to be the path, the complete path for activation link. As you see, we have uh, account activate. That's going to be this, and it's also not going to be account activate. It's uh, only going to be activate because of the pet. But as you remember, we have here a YD, and we have here a token. So for here, we want to accept additional uh, parameters, pets. So we want to accept the YD and the token. So now when you come here to activate, we also need to copy some uh, color plate stuff like this. Okay. However, here we don't need is the user. And here let's also activate the use params. So we are going to get from uh, our parameters. There's going to be here something and here something else. We are going to get the YD. Because it's the name that we set up here, the token. YD token is going to be equal to use parents. Okay, now supposed to be working for our for not found because there is not anything. Uh, 
one year. Yes, good. So here in our handle submit, let's say we want const user data and here what is the ID and the token. So and after let's dispatch to our store. That's going to dispatch the as again the name activate. I'm going to dispatch the user data. And let's say a props toast dot success. Your account has been activated. You can log in now. Okay, so what we are getting with this line, we get this, the ID and the um, token from here, and we are going to be redirected. For example, let's click here now. Now we are going to be redirecting. We are getting the ID and the token. So after this, we are going to get the ID here in a variable call user data. We are going to dispatch the function activate that going to uh, user slice that's going to trigger that activated that's going to trigger our service sending a post request to our backend so basically that's it and uh, but we need more so activated page we also want to handle the use effects it's going to be copy these this effect we don't need the user how's that we're going you also we want yes only the success we want to redirect back to the home page also the login page Login. Why not? Login makes sense. So here if this and here is also nice to have a spinner. So the spinner is there or somewhere. Use effect not defined. Or use effect from this. So this can be besides the bottom, besides below. So above the bottom and below the H1 is the right. So if the site is loading, let's say we want the spinner. Okay, so this is working. We have been redirecting our account was activated. I don't remember where this email was from. People. Okay, it is a random email. DSC, blah, blah, blah. It was activated. So if we come here to our users, we should get our DC some stuff. Guy. Yeah. Let's see that activated. Yes, that guy with a very beautiful first name is now active. So I didn't want to activate that so quickly. I want I was going to create a new account and uh, do the activation later. But uh, eh, it's working. So let's do a small test. I don't need to make 
of these opens. So let's do this. I think is that the password? Yes, and that guy that we don't ever name he is now activated here. So yeah, the activation page it's working. So now what you're already able to do, we can create an account, log in, activate the page. So the main functionalities are there. Now, the only thing that we need to add is the reset password functionality. This is what you are going to do in the next videos. So for that video is all. If you like the video and you think it was valuable, like, share, and subscribe. And see you in the next video.